Hey guys, today I'll be using these three short clips to demonstrate how freeze frame works on the cut pitch. So the first thing you need to know is that uh, the position of the playhead matters. It's going to dictate which frame you will freeze. So once you've determined that, let's come to the speed change section in the inspector panel and click on the freeze frame button there. This will go ahead and create a freeze frame of that frame and it will also overwrite that entire clip with that frame. Now, what if let's say you come to somewhere else in that clip and click on that freeze frame button again. Now, what will happen then is that it will go ahead and override the rest of this clip with that frame, and it will also make a cut at that position, essentially creating a new clip. So this is the default behavior of freeze frame on the cut page. Okay, now let's face it, this may not be ideal because what if you don't want any content to be overridden? So to get around that, let's first of all, locate the frame that you want to freeze. And then once that's determined, we are going to right click and in the menu select at speed point. So now let's click on that freeze frame button. You will see that this time around, the system is going to create a two second freeze frame of that frame while preserving the rest of the contents. Now, once that's done, you can actually come to any other frame within that clip and I simply click on that freeze frame button again. This is just going to go ahead and create another freeze frame of that frame and without destroying any of the clip's original content. And you can easily now replicate this for any other frames within that clip. With this type of freeze frame, you can also click on one of the handles to change the transition from linear to smooth. This will essentially allow the video to go from normal to freeze frame with a smoother transition. Now, another thing I wanna note here is that the duration of the freeze frame is two second long. And I try to change it by dragging uh, the handles left and right, and it just won't allow me to do that, to change it. So that is something to note. Uh, the duration is two second long by default, and we can't easily change that. This can definitely pose a challenge because what if we want a one second or a five second freeze frame instead of two? So I'm going to use a new clip here to demonstrate how to get around that. Once we've determined which frame we want to freeze, we're going to make a cut here by using command backslash key, and then we're going to hold on the option key and then move this part of the clip over to the right until we see that blue signal, then let's drop it. So we've essentially now duplicated this part of the clip and if we were to right now go back to the original position and then simply click on that freeze frame button, this will then replace this entire clip with that frame that we want to freeze and without destroying any other parts of the clip's content. And because it is now a separate clip, we can shorten it or lengthen it to any duration that we want. Okay, last but definitely not the least, there are a couple ways to remove a freeze frame, and one of which is to click on one of these handles and then select the delete button. This will go ahead and remove the freeze frame. But one thing you are gonna notice is that this is also going to change the video speed as a result, and this may not be ideal. So the other way to remove a freeze frame is to click on the zero percentage and then click on this remove freeze frame option. This will go ahead and then remove the freeze frame while also preserving the original video speed. Now, as for this clip, simply select it and then hit delete and you're done. All right, guys, so this is it. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and as always, I will see you next time.